Hi, my name is Mrs. M. Melech, and I'm here to tell you why Sarit is a wonderful student at our school. Sarit has the middle of kindness and respect to others. For example, whenever I walked into her classroom, she always greeted me with a huge smile. The middle of the rehearse is important for being successful in life because there's nothing more important than being kind to others. Sarit, the meaning of your last name, Carmel or Mount Carmel, is a symbol for prosperity, blossom, and growth in Hebrew. Just like it says in the Sefer Yirmiya, Ve'avi etchem el ha'aretz, eretz ha'karmel, le'chol piriya v'tuva. So, Sarit, continue showering the world with your goodness and kindness. The good seeds of your midot have already been planted, and I can't wait to see the fruit that they will bear, Bezrat Hashem. See you upstairs, Sarit. Hi, my name is Mrs. Pepper, and I have the honors of talking about Atara. She was my dominant class this year, and my Navi class in sixth grade, and of course a resident student in Toshba this year. Atara, you come in every morning with a huge smile, despite whatever challenges you are experiencing that day. You always tackle life in a positive way. You are smart and have the ability to stare down any challenge that you come in contact with. You are an incredible and dedicated friend. Keep on starting your day positive, and you'll continue to do awesome. Enjoy high school. Please come back and visit. Hi, my name is Mrs. Carl, and I'm so glad to tell you all today how excited we were to have Ethan in our high school geometry class. Ethan is built to think and analyze and do proofs and figure out the world, whether it's a, video, a miniature world in video games or the real world, world outside of us. Ethan, I want to wish you Hatzlacha Rabba, so much luck, and we'll be so glad to have you back in high school next year. I met Avishai when he came to his first ceramics class. He'd never done ceramics before. He looked around the room, saw a fun house, and decided he wanted to build one himself. In a matter of months, he went from no experience to working like a pro. He learned hand-building skills and beautifully finished a fun house of his own, paying attention to every detail. Avishai, your willingness to take on the challenge of learning and mastering new skills will serve you very well in life. Mazel tov on graduating eighth grade and moving on to your next chapter. It gives me great pleasure to speak to you about Arye Stone. Arye is one of my main men. Not only can he flip in the air, fly, jump off walls, do a lot of interesting things, he also flips, flies, and does great things in our Humashir this year. He brings in a tremendous spirit of learning. He loves to ask good questions. He has great answers all around. It wouldn't be the same without Aryeh's smile and Aryeh's enthusiasm. Aryeh, much hot slacha next year and make sure to visit. Eliezer, I have the honor and privilege to wish you a mazal tov on your graduation and to say to you that you are an inspiration to your peers and your faculty because you dedicate yourself so thoughtfully and sincerely in your Torah study and in everything else that you do. It's been an honor to watch you make siyum in your learning and to continue to thrive in your school. Keep up the great work. Mazal tov. My name is Rabbi Middleman and I would like to congratulate Yair Reich on graduating eighth grade. Yair, you're somebody who continuously strove to improve your performance day to day, week to week, month to month, and you're looking back at a year that you could be very, very proud of. You should continue this growth in high school and many, many years to come. Mazel tov. Sarah is going to be missed next year in the middle school. My name is Mrs. Elmel and I teach you Vrit. Sarah has had an impact on her peers whenever we did the skits in class. This is impressive because Sarah is funny, interesting, smart, witty, and fun to be around. Sarah, I want to give you the blessing we bless the girls on Erev Shabbat. May the virtues of our four mothers go with you wherever you go. See you in the upper school, Sarah, and good luck. Hi, my name is Mrs. Atlas, and I am here to tell you why Ellie Rawson is a wonderful student at our school. Ellie is unusual for an eighth grader. She will often observe and think before she speaks. 
One of the things I admire most about Ellie is her ability to make a goal and do whatever needs to be done to meet the challenge. We will miss Ellie next year and wish her much Hatzlacha in the upper school. There is never a dull moment when Aiden Price is around. In and out of school, she is always smiling and ready for fun. In class, Aiden has interesting and entertaining stories that somehow connect to everything that we learn. Out of class, she adds giggles and enthusiasm to whatever she's doing. Aiden, we're gonna miss you next year. Good luck in high school. It has been a pleasure to teach Tamar this year. Tamar strives to do what is right. She treats others fairly and properly, even if they wrong her. She has high standards for herself and asks specific, thoughtful questions. She is one of my star students. We will miss you Tamar next year. Have a great summer and good luck in high school. Hi, I'm Rachel Seidel and I have the pleasure of teaching Aaron Olson in seventh grade. One thing that stands out to me about Aaron is while he sometimes takes a little while to formulate his ideas, he's a deep thinker. He's able to analyze many sides of an issue and think outside of the box. My other strong memory is that when he came as a new student to Berman, he quickly found his people and became a very supportive and loyal friend who was always ready to stand up for his peers. Best of luck next year, Aaron. Daniel. When I think of you, I think of sparks and sparkle. When you get an insight or an understanding, and it is a really powerful moment for you, up goes your hand and out comes the insight. Not only that, I see you sparkling during the day, whether it's in a, the way you treat your fellow students, the way you treat teachers, the way you treat me, your conversation about everything from general studies to Torah, to Kriyata Torah, you're always sparkling, and I enjoy seeing you anytime I see you in school. My baracha for you is that time and experience not extinguish the sparks and sparkling in you. I'm going to speak about Brooke Hollander. Brooke, I've been lucky to have the opportunity to teach math to you for two years in a row in seventh and eighth grade. You're a student who's driven and determined, but also sensitive and kind. You want to demonstrate, even to yourself, that you can take on the most challenging problems, and you always volunteer to do them when I present them in class. You take great responsibility for your learning, never wanting to leave any stone unturned. But you're also a sensitive soul, and when a friend needs something, you'll be there for that friend, whether it's help with a math problem or advice about, well, any number of situations. Brooke, you and I also share a passion for musical theater, and I look forward to watching you perform in your next show. I can't wait to hear about all the exciting things you'll do in upper school. Hi, I'm Rabbi Rothman. I had the pleasure of teaching Noah Hawk last year, Kumash. And Noah is the type of student that makes everyone feel comfortable. Uh, if there's a new boy in school, Noah will welcome him in and make him feel at home. Uh, Noah is the type of student that there was tons about computers. If you have any question at all, you know, Second to Jim, he's, he's the man you want to speak to. And, and finally, Noah has uh, a great tendency to open windows and just like fresh air. We love Noah for that. And Noah will do great next year in high school. In the time it takes me to tell you how special a student Benjamin is, he will have already solved many of these problems. I found that teaching math to Benjamin was often like trying to ride a bull. And the bull already knew a heck of a lot of math. Even though most of us were just trying to keep up with him, Benjamin was always ready to help out as a friend and to grow as a student. He raised the bar in class and kept us laughing throughout the year. Benjamin, I hope you enjoyed the ride. Best of luck in the upper school. Hi, I'm Pamela Ohudka, or Mrs. W, as, as Yona Gross would call me. I've had the pleasure of having Yona for three years, and he is the type of kid who, at 11 years old, will ask his Rebbe, how he makes his utopian society that is completely technologically sound appropriate for Shabbos. He is my sparring partner, he is my political cartoonist, and a stand-up comedian, and he's going to have a great time next year. Good luck, Yona Gross. 
had the pleasure of having Simon Goldberg in my class for 6th and 7th grade world studies. Since I first met him, it was clear that he is a kind, creative, and funny student. I could always rely on Simon to work with anyone during group projects, and he would go out of his way to include everyone. I also remember his excitement and great ideas for his Renaissance Fair project about sports. Simon, these attributes will take you far in the upper school and beyond. Best of luck next year. Hi, I'm Rachel Kosowski, and it is my pleasure to be speaking about Yael Fishman. I have known Yael for a very long time, and it is my privilege to teach her Humash this year. The quality that stands out to me about Yael is her determination. And this can be seen on the basketball court as well as in class. Yael is very determined to get done the job that she needs to get done, um, running up and down the basketball court or raising her hand and asking clarifying questions to make sure that she fully learns what we are talking about. And um, it's a really important quality that I think will serve her well as she moves forward in life. Mazal tov Yael and may you continue to go Michael El Chayel. It's always a pleasure to teach students like Miraf. I am Mrs. Madar Lazarus. When I taught Mirav in sixth and seventh grade, I remember that Mirav always asked questions in order to make sure that she is mastering the Hebrew language. This year, Mirav went to Israel, and I was happy to hear that she was the family's tour guide. Wherever the family went, Mirav translated from Ivrit or spoke in Ivrit on behalf of the family. Mirab, this is very indicative of your strong abilities to learn and use the Ivrit language. I have no doubt that you will continue to be a strong Ivrit speaker. I wish you Behaslacha in the upper school. Hi, I'm here to talk about Tali Cohen. I'm Susan Oppenheim. I have known Tali for three years now. I've had her in sixth grade for science and two years with her in math. Tali is a talented basketball player and probably someday we'll see her in the women's NBA. But what's something that we really share is on Sundays we commiserate and sometimes we are joyful in this football season with the Redskins. We uh, email each other before the games, after the games, during the games, and Tali, I only hope in your lifetime, you can have one of these because I already got mine. Talia, I want to wish you much luck in high school and I look forward to seeing your name in the highlights of all the basketball games. <laughs>